A blessings today. Greetings. Today we're back in those Hebrew scriptures again. I love the stories of what we call the Old Testament. Testament, they testify to us of some of the goodness and the power of God. Now, yesterday I recommended that you Begin any kind of venture that is difficult. I called it a spiritual battle. That you begin it with praising God. Now, if you're not used to doing that, you may have said, what do I say? I don't really know how to praise God. Well, in the uh, scriptures of the Jewish people, we have a man who was so good at praising God that he wrote dozens of songs that we have in the book of Psalms. His name was David. And in the book of First Chronicles, chapter 29, verses 10 through 13, we have an example of how King David praised God. And maybe you can use this as an example of some of the things that we might praise God for. Listen to what he said. Then David blessed the Lord in the presence of all the assembly. David said, blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Yours, O Lord, are the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and on the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might, and it is in your hand to make great and to give strength to all. And now, our God, we give thanks to you and praise your glorious name. Well, David certainly had a heart filled with thanksgiving and praise, and very often, there are adventures in the Hebrew scriptures where they did have to go into battle. And when that happened, of course, they would want strength. They'd want strength uh, to be able to go through the battle and perhaps have victory. And so what David is doing is praising God for giving them the strength that they'll need to go through an actual physical battle. Now, I would suggest to you today that most of us will never have to go through an actual physical battle. Although I know that some of you who watch these videos have served in the military, have served in uh, Vietnam and Afghanistan and Iran, other places where you have had to go into battle. And so these prayers probably have special meaning for you. But for those of us who have never experienced that firsthand, we do know that sometimes we battle with temptation, we battle with addictions, we battle with uh, bad habits that we've developed. And anyone who has struggled against those things knows that it really is a struggle and praise is a great way to enter the battle. So this is my list of ideas, uh, my ideas for praising God. David's a list of why we rejoice. All these things that the divine provides spiritually so that we can say with David, I lack 
nothing.